What's up Shorts Force? Welcome back to the channel. Now as you can see in the description title as well as what I have in front of me here today, we are going to be taking a look at the Gin Clear Diver by Second Hour Watches. It's a company based out of Australia and the owner Peter was kind enough to send this into the channel so I could review it for you guys, give you my thoughts on it. And while there are a lot of reviews on this watch, because this is something that's floated between other reviewers, um, I just, and you'll see here, <laughs> some evidence of some love from the prior owners. Um, but I just wanted to point out a lot of the things that I like about it, in particular with the design itself. But I'll go over the specs in case you haven't heard or seen this watch before. I did want to real quick let you know that the Gen Clear Diver is something that is available on pre-order right now. You can save 15% off using the code GENCLEAR15. And you can also find out about their new models that are coming out. Now they had announced a new model called the Giant Stride and that is on hold because the current next model to launch is actually called the Mandala. They are releasing in March of 2021. There will be a Kickstarter for that. And so if you're interested in any updates, definitely go to their website, which will be linked in the description below and sign up for their newsletter so you can get more details. Now, before we get into all the specs and the nitty gritty of the Gin Clear Diver, real quick, in case if you're new to the channel, my name's Dave, may the Schwartz be with you. And hey, did you know, it's a great day to wear a watch. Boom, today I have on the Mondain. This is the Evo Alarm. We see with the Swiss railway design, just classic and unique kind of look to it. Very easy to read the time. And of course has that alarm feature built in. So very cool, I've done my review on this watch. You can check it out up here if you're interested. But without further ado, Let's go ahead and jump into it. Now, if you pick one of these up new, they're about 580 bucks. US dollars and that is going to come with this travel case which is pretty nice holds two watches as you can see here it also has the second hour branding which is cool um, feels really nice as far as the quality I would definitely love to have one of these and if you don't already and you end up picking one of these watches up it's just win-win and then I believe it's going to come with one leather strap as well as the stainless steel bracelet um, these leather straps actually feel really nice the quality on them nice and thick and I like how it's kind of almost has like a, um, like, like these are gonna break in and have a distressed look over time. So they're really nice. Um, I wanna say though, you will also have the option to be able to purchase these separately, um, which is cool if you wanna change up the look of your Gen Clear Diver. It's always good to have options. You not, and you guys know me, I almost always swap out my bracelet with straps. So it's nice to see something like that. Now real quick, I just wanna go over all the specs and touch on that quickly in case you haven't seen reviews on this watch previously you're getting for $580 is checking all the boxes, which I really like to see. So just real quickly, we're looking at a 316L solid stainless steel case that is including a solid stainless steel bracelet. Now this is a true dive watch. So we're looking at 200 meters of water resistance. So there is a screw down crown with the branding etched there on the crown itself. And then we have a screw down case back and that has the gin clear branding as well as that little sea turtle. It's pretty cool to see that engraved in the back of the steel case and has all the indications there as well. Now you notice we have solid end links on the watch and the links are all solid and held in with screws as well. So really nice to see the dive watch with that milled out clasp, safety latch, and then we have six micro adjustments in the clasp itself. So you can definitely fit this to your wrist very well. And the case dimensions, it's gonna fit pretty nice on most wrists out there. So we're looking at a case diameter of 41 and a half millimeters. And if we include the crown, it's gonna put us right under 45 millimeters. The lug to lug height is gonna fit nicely on most wrists. It's 48, so it's not very long compared to some other dive watches out there. And then we're looking at 13 and a half millimeters for the case thickness. Now that is including a sapphire crystal. As you can see with the reflection there, it does have AR coating. It actually has six layers of AR coating applied on, on the underside. So three and a half millimeter dome sapphire crystal gives a really nice distortion look as you can see there. We see as we're looking here at the side, let's just go ahead and talk about how the lugs are angular and then they slope down at a nice angle to hug your wrist pretty well. Now the final production version is gonna be a little bit different. I wanna say it's high polished there on the edges if I'm not mistaken. And then we see with the bezel 120 click unidirectional 
Now this particular watch, which has floated between different reviewers, has very little back play. From what I've seen with the rest of this watch, I would expect there to be probably no back play on the production versions. But for this one that I have, there is just a tad bit of back play, not a big deal. So we see the coin edge bezel and very easy to actuate. This bezel feels really nice, great tactile feel. And when you pick yours up, if you decide to order one, you'll have the option between either a ceramic or brushed stainless steel bezel. So you get some options there, but there is BGW9 Super Luminova that is applied not only in the bezel itself, but on the minute hour, second hand, and then of course all of the indices as well. So this thing lights up really nice. I'll give you a loom shot while I talk a little bit more now, this watch is powered with a Swiss Salita SW200 movement. That's beating at 28,800 vibrations per hour. I'll show you the accuracy on this particular watch that I have. Now, I've had this running for just a couple minutes. As you can see, great accuracy, zero to two seconds, give or take per day, uh, great amplitude, and then of course, hardly any beat error and just verification of that 28,800 vibrations per hour. So always nice to see on these movements and yeah, nothing to complain about here. Well done, second hour. This watch is really impressive with all the specs. I don't have any complaints against it. In fact, I really like it. Uh, the price is the only thing, but with that savings of 15% off, that definitely helps alleviate some of that, uh, I guess, hesitation there. Um, one of the cool things too, is all of the color options that you're gonna get with this watch. So you can really kind of tailor fit this and design one that you really like. You'll have options between a uh, matte finish or sun ray and enamel finish. So you get some choices on the dial color and finishing. And then of course you also will choose between that bezel, like I mentioned, either stainless steel or ceramic um, or brushed stainless steel. So you kind of get some options there as well. Now let's get into the design features of this watch because this is where this watch really caught my eye. And I didn't notice it at first, but check it out. One of my favorite things is obviously the second hour logo that they have there on the counterbalance of the second hand looks really cool. And in direct light, especially in sunlight, it casts a perfect shadow of that. And it's just really cool to see when it's moving against that kind of enamel dial or that Arctic white dial. So that really caught my eye. Um, and I had to do a picture and post on my Instagram because that's how cool it was when I noticed it. And then I like, I kind of consider this like a peppermint dial. So that Arctic white with the white indices. And then of course the off white from the Luminova in the bezel itself just kind of reminds me of like a winter time, I don't know, like peppermint kind of feel with the like candy cane with the white and red, just really cool. But of course you could wear this thing year round, very nice looking watch. I like the simplicity of the layout. So with those simple pencil shaped hands and then that needle with the pip on the second hand and that red accenting just looks really good. I like that all the branding there at 12 o'clock is applied. So you can see where it's raised on the dial itself really nice and then even the wording down below for the model automatic and then the water resistance is also applied and raised up there and i like instead of having these kind of pyramid shaped um, wedges at 12 3 6 and 9 they split it into thirds so you only have it at 12 4 and 8. And then of course we just have these simple round pips at all the other hour markers and i like that you can see the luminova applied but there's an even spacing of that stainless steel coming through on all of them so definitely raised up and applied to the dial itself. Easy to see. I knew you would think white on white would be a little hard, but because there's enough stainless steel showing, it's actually very easy to read this watch. So I like that a lot. And then we see brushed ray hot along the edge there. And then that chapter ring has just the minute tick markers, just very simple. And then in increments of five, we have our minute or second markers as well. One of my favorite things about this watch, aside from the design of it, being different from everything else that I've seen or owned. I also like how comfortable this bracelet is. So I'm not sure these like almost kind of H shaped links that they have, it almost looks like a little I or an H shape. The way that they are shaped, it actually makes the watch very comfortable when it's sitting on the wrist. I really, like I said, this watch hits all the boxes, um, <laughs> Swiss movement, you know, accurate, has all of the design features and elements that you would want in a nice high quality watch. I really have no complaints, but I wanna hear what you guys think of this. What colors would you order on your Gin Clear Diver? I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. As always, I look forward to interacting with you guys in the comments. So thanks for checking out my review on the second hour Gin Clear Diver. Peter, to you and your team also, thanks for lending this into the channel to check it out. Really enjoyed my time with it. If you haven't joined the Schwartz Force yet, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Be part of the team. We'd love to have you. And as always, I will look forward to seeing you guys at the next one. Until next time, may the Schwartz be with you.
Take care.